Okay, I think we are good. Let us start today's Indian Ocean Corner webinar. So a big thank you to everybody for joining us today. Um, you, we're going to give you a little bit of sunshine, well, lots of sunshine anyway. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. So Emma, hello, good morning, good afternoon, welcome. <laughs> How are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. I hope everybody else is well. Thanks for joining today. Um, so my name's Emma and I work for Bespoke uh, for Representation Company in the UK and we look after a group of hotels called Atmosphere Hotels and Resorts and today I'll be training in our Blue Nature Helen Gelly in the Maldives. Super, thank you very much Emma and you've got a prize today haven't you for one lucky winner? Yeah, today we've got a £50 um, Amazon voucher to give away um, for the correct winner of our question. Super duper. Thank you very much, Emma. So you all need to listen carefully to what Emma says and also Melanie and Sue. Um, and we'll do a little quiz at the very, very end. Um, we've also got Melanie in the house. Melanie, hello. Hello. Hi. I'm delighted to be here. Thanks, everyone, for joining. And I will be telling you all about So Maldives, which is opening any day soon. Excellent. We're loving it. Thank you very much, Melanie. You've got a prize today as well, haven't you? I do have a £50 uh, or $60 voucher, depending on where um, someone's based, or could be euros too, obviously. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Melanie. Last but not least, we've got Sue. Sue, welcome. Hi, my name's Sue from LJR Consultancy. We represent a number of properties in uh, Southeast Asia and the Maldives and Sri Lanka, etc. And today I'm going to be introducing Gardens Cape in Sri Lanka. Super, thank you very much, Sue. Um, you've got your prize as well? Yeah, mine is also a £50 Amazon voucher. Super, thank you. Sue, take us to Sri Lanka. It's okay. over to you. We've got a little puppy in the house. We have got a little puppy. Puppy in the house. Yeah, I chose to go first, but I'm not sure that was the uh, the best choice. Bless. Right, just waiting to get to the beginning of the presentation. Right, here we go. So yeah, Gartens Cape. So this is a picture of the uh, the hotel. And um, just a little bit about Sri Lanka. It really is a land like no other, from pristine beaches to the subrious climbs of the hill country, tea plantations, lush tropical forests, national parks. You've got the Yala National Park. You've got the Cultural Triangle. You've got Kandy, Temples of the Tooth, Dagana. You've got amazing train journeys, beautiful beaches, fantastic hospitality, so much culture. Um, so there really is, uh, it really is an amazing place and something for everybody. Um, Gardens Cape is a luxury boutique hotel. It's situated in one of Sri Lanka's hidden gems, which you may not have heard of, called Ahangama. And that is um, down on the, um, the south, um, south coast. So it's nestled in a little coastal hamlet on the vibrant south coast, um, offering beautiful secluded white beaches, excellent surfing, diving, water sports, and also lots to do very, very nearby. It's positioned directly on the beach and is in close proximity to all that Hahangama can, can offer and with an easy reach of many attractions, including Kagala Beach, the vibrant restaurants of Una Watana, Whale Watching in Walagama, Marissa, as well as the lovely heritage city of Gaal. They're all about sort of 10, 15 minutes away. The hotel itself um, has its own private beach. Um, it features 22 rooms and suites, and it really combines traditional Sri Lankan heritage and architecture with modern amenities and luxuries. Five different types of rooms, ranging from the Cape Suite, Ocean Suite, Ocean Panoramic, all of which offer breathtaking views of the Indian Ocean, or at the side or the back, there's also um, a lagoon. So these are the leading room types, the Lagoon Superiors at 282 square feet. There's five of these, um, mostly on the ground floor, and some of these have interconnection rooms, um, which are obviously fantastic for families. Next, we have the Ocean Deluxe. These rooms have lovely balconies, so you're overlooking the Indian Ocean with amazing, um, amazing views. And then we have the Ocean Panoramic, which is 475 square feet. These are suites with a separate lounge area located on the upper floor. So again, you've got unparalleled um, beautiful views outside and you have your own private balcony. 
And then we have the ocean suite, so 669 square feet, including a private balcony, with, again, with stunning views. The Cape Suite, this is another luxurious suite, Jewel in the Crown and the Gardens Cape, and again, it offers beautiful views over the ocean and also to the side of the, um, the lagoon. So at Gartens Cape, they have their very own 150 metre beach right in front of the hotel. So on either side, the, 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 you know, it's obviously within 10 minutes, you've got surfing. So the seas are quite rough, but at, right at the front of Gartens Cape, we've got a lovely calm 150 metre stretch of sand. It's great for snorkeling too. You can swim easily out to a little island, which has got a nice reef with lots of fish and uh, marine life. So you can have a snorkel around there. They also do complimentary um, seawater water jacuzzi and um, kayak hire. And then when you've had enough of the private beach, we've got a beautiful pool um, where you can enjoy a poolside cocktail, etc. So recreational facilities in the hotel include complimentary bike, bike rental excursions. We've got some table tennis, pool, a gym. Um, as I said, the lovely outdoor infinity pool and a kid's pool. Complimentary kayak hire. You can go out on a boat trip to a local island, take a picnic, jet skis, as well as the seawater jacuzzi. Um, and then when you've had enough of the beach, um, we've got the spa for um, lots of pampering as well as in-house gym. So um, when it comes to food, um, we've got the restaurant which serves, um, it serves um, very authentic Sri Lankan food, but also some Asian favourites. In the high season, they have a buffet. Also lots of lovely um, fresh fish as well can be enjoyed at Horizon Sky Restaurant. Um, and then there's also a cocktail bar as well. Alternatively, you can just have a beautiful um, private dinner um, location anywhere you want really, but this is a lovely one on the beach. So in terms of things to do, as I said, everything is within 10 minutes. We have Gal Fort, um, which is an UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, it was an ancient Dutch fort, so it's very well preserved. Lots of trendy cafes, eclectic shopping, etc. Great for history buffs. Um, there's also Kogala Turtle Hatchery, um, hatchery again within 10 minutes so you've got different type five different types of turtles there so you can check them out releasing the hatchlings into the wild we've got the Madalduwa river safari with cinnamon island and fish bar located amid, amongst mangrove swamps and the kagala lake with a number of um, bits of wildlife bird watching etc you've got water sports in marissa got miles of unspoiled beach, vibrant coastal culture. That's great for all, um, all types of water sports and also great for whale watching. You can actually see them from the, um, from the, from the jetty as well. Uh, for surfing, Walagama Bay is, is fantastic uh, and features the highest number of surf camps on the coast. Great for beginners and experienced surfers too. And then we've got the famous stilt fishermen in um, Kogala as well. I think actually down the beach from um, Gartner's Cape, we've also got the famous um, stilted fishermen as well. So I'm just gonna now um, just click on the video link if I can hopefully find it. There we go. So that's the presentation finished. If anyone's got any questions at all. Super, thank you very much, Sue. Anybody's got any questions, please pop them into the Q&A and we will cover them just at the very, very end. So thank you for that, Sue. It's great to see um, the location was amazing. Like for Yes, it's an ideal places. location for, yeah, once you've finished doing your touring, it's an ideal beach location. Yeah, how long do, do people normally go for? Do they normally go for sort of three or four nights to relax at the end of a tour or...? I would say it depends if what they want to do, really. I would say four or five nights would be good. Yeah. Super. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Any questions for Sue? Let her know in the Q&A. OK, so thanks for that, Sue. Um, I'm now going to hand over to Melanie, who's going to take us over to the Maldives. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Sarah. Can you see my screen? I can see it. And I'm looking forward to seeing your new baby. 
Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Opening very soon. So uh, we're really excited. Um, and I have to stop saying so because I use it a lot in my descriptions. And now, therefore, I will introduce you to So Maldives. Um, really, really beautiful. It's a five star luxury resort um, opening very soon in November. Um, and I'll take you through kind of what there is to do and see. Um, this is just a kind of a bit of an aerial shot here. Um, and you can see on the overwater villas here, just kind of point this out that you've obviously got this, the um, solar panels there. So there's been a lot of initiatives to look after kind of sustainability um, from, you know, obviously the solar power here and other initiatives that I'll touch on briefly um, later on. So, um, and the overarching film or theme even is Castaway meets Runway. And it's got that Castaway vibe, but then you've got this kind of runway kind of thematic that you'll see as well. Um, so, I said I'd stop saying so like that. Um, so, what kind of embodies uh, the, the brand and what we will be in particular in the Maldives is sophisticated, playful, luxury, energy, um, and uh, having a vibrant scene. So as you can see, um, a kind of pool area here that's unlike anything else that you were, would have seen. And then just on the uh, end there, you've got the area where a DJ will be playing some kind of chill out tunes and so forth as well. So a fun place for people to come and gather. Um, and so you may or may not have heard of so, but we are a, a beautiful kind of um, lifestyle, fashion and design led um, uh, collection of properties, um, which are growing throughout the world. So we've just opened recently um, the Uptown Dubai um, and more to follow. So you can see where we are here, but they're all very kind of fashion design, beautiful, um, you know, kind of characteristics that they would have in that lifestyle segment, great, um, you know, service. Um, and we have lots of kind of collaborations with design, with fashion brands. So this would just give you a kind of a little bit of a look and feel of what the kind of the properties um, as a brand are like with very kind of stylish design um, kind of touches there and seasonal kind of campaigns as well. So that's where we have Castaway meets Runway. And you'll see that throughout. So just looking at the uh, villas here. So we have 80 villas. Um, and, you know, obviously within that, the, we have over water, obviously, um, and then on the beach, stunning um, sized villas as well. And as you can see here from the over water, you've got these floor to ceiling windows. So you wake up kind of immersed in the ocean, as it were, almost that like you've got this beautiful start to the day or the end to an evening as well. So you really do kind of have that disconnect, which is lovely. We've got three restaurants and three bars, um, and I'll take you through those a little bit more shortly. And then we've got um, wellness camp. One of the things that I think is unique for us is that we also have a teen club. So as well as having a children's club and babysitting, obviously, that we can offer, um, we can have teens too. So children would be from uh, four till 12 within the children's club. And they can come before, you know, under four years old, but they would need to be accompanied by um, a guardian. Um, and then we can offer uh, babysitting as well, which I think is $35 an hour. And then we have um, the, the teen club, the zone, which is going to be from 12 to 16. Um, and that goes on until 10 p.m. So, um, you know, for families, we've got great offerings, but equally, um, you know, everything is very spaced out and you will get the romantic kind of couples coming, um, anniversary, honeymoons, and we'll also get small groups. We've got some um, really, you know, it's a fun place to be. It's very close to Marle within 15 minutes by speedboat. So again, I think we're a really good all-rounder. Location, as I mentioned, 15 minutes by speedboat, and that's kind of um, 24 hours. So for those that are traveling further afield, um, you know, it's really nice that you can get, you know, into the resort so easily and quickly from the day of arrival into Marley. Um, and we're part of Ennismore, which you, uh, you know, will probably know from the Accor kind of um, uh, partnership that we have there. So again, for many people, that's something that they, um, you know, like to see as well. Um, so we're based in Crossroads. Um, and many of you may know Crossroads. Um, uh, there's a marina there and obviously some other um some other resort uh, hotels there that you will probably be very familiar with, as you'll see here. 
So when you are staying at So Maldives, you can actually go off island um, and we will have transfers so that if you want to go to Marina, you know, and um, maybe have a bite to eat there, you can do that. Um, so that would be kind of a la carte on your own, uh, you know, um, if you were to kind of dine there. But we can provide the um, the boat transfers, which will go every couple of hours. So I think that's quite a nice, fun thing that you can do when you're staying with us as well. And certainly I think um, is quite an attractive um, option. And this is just a really quick kind of uh, resort map just to show you like where the beaches are, where the sorry, the um, beach villas are over here, and then obviously over water here. Um, so the water sport and the zone, we've got the Lazuli Beach Club, Citronelle Club, and Hadaba, which is our kind of uh, more fine dining restaurant, Rival Jetty here, um, and then you've got the nest area and the wellness camp over here. Oops, sorry, this is a little bit too sensitive as I move it. Um, so this is how you arrive. And so you have that sense of kind of the, the runway there, really beautiful design. Um, so you come into the kind of main reception area and then we have the Hadaba restaurant up here. Um, and you can see that's over the lagoon area. And then you have the kind of villas here that you can see. So quite spaced out, um, you know, beautiful, uh, luscious um, backdrop there. And then we move to Citronelle Club. So Citronelle Club is a beautiful restaurant. This is where we're going to be having your breakfast and, you know, kind of lunch, dinner. Um, and it's got Asian kind of flavors. So lots of uh, small dishes. Um, and we're quite anti having the big buffet. That's not really our style. It's much more a kind of more a la carte with there will be some things there on the buffet service, but we are very conscious of having things that are freshly prepared and of food waste as well. So um, Citronelle Club will give you those fantastic, uh, you know, bites with Asian influence throughout the day, great cocktails as well, um, and a really fun environment. Then we have Lazuli. So Lazuli is more of a Mediterranean feel, um, quite healthy, seafood, um, cocktails as well. So this is the kind of beach club. So you've got the kind of Cote d'Azur uh, charm there as well. So you can see a great place to kind of lounge, have lunch, dinner, drinks um, throughout the day. And you'll have those kind of chill out tunes in the background from the global DJs that will be um, playing for us. And then we have Hadaba, which is our beautiful, more signature restaurant. This is going to be for the evening. Um, it's going to be a little bit more formal in style. But, you know, again, it's, it's kind of like a resort um, feel. Um, really delicious barbecued meats here. Levantine cuisine. So uh, delicious food here. Um, you don't have to book this, but it will be popular. And we do recommend that you do. And obviously, we've got some, um, some tables by the windows here. So those always will be booking quite far out. So it's good to kind of book those earlier. And then this is just a little kind of um, over overview of the villas that we have. So you can see they're really large size. If we look here, the, um, the kind of lagoon water pool or the ocean water pool has been 120. Now, when you look at the beach, this is a larger size, and that's because you're taking into uh, like into consideration the surrounding beach area as well. So, um, but really large um, villas and stunning design, very fresh, contemporary, beautiful look and feel. You can see this is gonna be super popular with um, the, the children and the teens here, and this is in one of our um, pods. So this, we've got the family kind of um, villas here as well. So we've got two and three bedrooms. One thing to mention, because we are just opening, we've got some great offers and we do have availability over festive periods. So um, for larger groups, um, then we can certainly look in that and we'd be happy to go for that and, and, um, and see what we can do there. So coming into, again, this is just an idea of what the over water uh, villas are like and you can see stunning views there really large um, villas every single villa has its own plunge pool so whether it's on the beach or over water and then you've got the kind of hammock area there so you can just relax um, and then just you know chill out with the you know the sounds of the ocean just there and steps here um, so I think one of the things that really is lovely is that you do have these views not all villas um, that you would see in the Maldives would have so much uh, direct access and views to the ocean. 
And then you come onto the beach, so you can see really beautiful design there, very crisp, clean lines, um, very private. We do have, you know, a lot of foliage there, um, keeping it kind of quite exclusive on the beach. And then obviously, but anyone coming with younger children, then they would obviously be on the beach rather than over water. And then we have some stunning two and three bedroom villas, which are really quite unique, a gorgeous design, as you can see, and very different from the traditional um, kind of look and feel of the Maldives. So something that we're very proud of. And again, you see that little kind of runway with the touches of the red here as you come down. And then we have the family uh, beach pool villa here with the pod here. So you can imagine uh, this is going to be really popular with families and teenagers and so forth. And then we have the wellness camp. Um, so great treatments in here. We have the zone with water sports. So we cover an array of water sports there. So obviously you've got your snorkeling, you've got kayaking, you've got um, kite surfing. You can do things like uh, paragliding, all sorts from uh, the resort and I can send on the PDF that we've just got with the array of all the excursions and uh, the activities that you can do. Um, and you can also do um, undertake paddy diving when you're with us. So whether you're advanced or not, we can cover that. And then obviously you've got the nest here as well. So um, a great offering uh, for those that are coming in families uh, in terms of having both uh, the younger children, babies and teenagers as well. Um, and then obviously we really, uh, you know, we, we're very conscious of uh, sustainability, as I mentioned before. So um, anything from the solar power to the single use plastics to, you know, the materials that we use. Um, and then also kind of being very conscious of, uh, you know, the, the food and not having surplus, having that a la carte feel, but with some, um, you know, we'll have a, a more limited buffet so that everything is fresh and we're not, we don't have the wastage. Um, in terms of uh, the board basis, and we do everything from bed and breakfast, half board, full board, and all inclusive. Um, we have some great um, offers in the market at the moment of 40% uh, off. We've got uh, transfers free of charge for seven nights plus. Um, we also have very good value transfers. Um, you know, if anyone's coming for less than seven nights, we do make a really good twin center, I think, um, for other destinations as well, as you just arrive, um, you know, to us within 15 minutes um, of arriving in Marley. Um, we also have a hundred dollar a day credit for F and B and spa that can be used in resort. Um, and um, we can look at other things like, uh, you know, beach villa upgrade as well. So we're very keen to work with any special requests, we're very agile, um, and we have a great offering. So um, yeah, I think that's it in a nutshell. <coughs> hey, my uh, screen wouldn't come back on. Um, super amazing, it looks fantastic. Um, I'm loving the sort of the sort of bars as well, like the the concepts there is brilliant. So really, yeah. really looking forward to hearing more about this as the hotel matures. Thank yeah, I you very much. Sorry, one last thing very quickly. Sometimes people say, you know, what would be your concept? So uh, it could be something like, you know, a, a six sentence or a W, um, maybe a little bit more sophisticated than a W, but, you know, to give you an idea of the line um, and price points, but certainly five-star luxury and lifestyle. Thank you. Super. Thank you very much, Melanie. Okay, any questions for Melanie? Please pop them into the Q and A, and we'll do them right at the very end. Um, so now we're going to leave Mel, and we're moving across to Emma, who's also taking us to the Maldives, but we're hopping across on seaplane to another island. Emma, over to you. Brilliant. And I'll just share my screen. Yeah, if you share it, it'll take Melanie off it. There we go. Everybody say it now. Brilliant. Um, so obviously, just to introduce myself, my name's Emma. So um, in the UK, we represent the Colours of Old Blue um, portfolio. And in within the Colours of Old Blue portfolio, we have four resorts in total. Today, I'll be talking about Helen Gelly, but just to give you a quick overview, we have um, Old Blue Experience Isla Fushi, which is our four-star family-friendly lead-in resort. Um, and then we also have um, Oblu Select Lobagilly, which is our adult only resort, very private, very romantic island, um, home to the largest underwater restaurant in the Maldives. Um, and then we also have five star Oblu Select Sangeli, a really chic, really trendy island, beautiful house reef. Um, but today I'll be talking about Oblu Nature Helen Gelly. 
So Helen Gelly is a four star and um, superior resort. So it's a really tropical island, Helen Gelly. It's a really naturistic island and it has a real back to basic um, naturistic feel. So we're currently closed at the moment for a renovation, a complete renovation of the whole island and we'll be reopened on the 21st of December. Well, we've got a soft opening on the 14th, but a full opening on the 21st of December. Um, so by then we'll be fully back open um, and we've got lots of new um, exciting plans and things um, in store for everybody. So at the moment at Helen Gelly, um, we don't have any overwater villas. Um, so they're currently being built. Well, they've been built. They're there already. So they're working on those at the moment. We're also working on lots of new exciting things. So we've got a new children's club, uh, which will be opening where we're going to have our own marine biologist. We've got a new restaurant opening called Raga Root. Um, the island was quite small, but we're now going to have an inventory of 153 rooms in total. And we're going to have lots more family rooms as well. So we're really going to be catering for the family um, market as well at Helen Gelly. So one of the key set selling points of Helen Gelly is our house reef. So we are known to have one of the best house reefs in the Maldives. And the reason being the house reef goes the whole way around the island. So we have an influx of marine life from all different directions and um, flowing into Helen Gelly. And we're also close to over 20 top dive sites. So um, when you get a call from Maldives, if somebody is interested in diving and snorkeling and, you know, that's their life and that's what they want to go and do while they're on holiday, then Helen Gelly really is the island for them. It really does have a beautiful house reef. So we're located in North Marley Atoll and we're only a 50 minute speedboat transfer from the airport. We always include transfers within the price of our holidays. So the speedboats are all included. Um, and we also work on an all inclusive plan here called the Oblu Island Plan. Um, as I said, the snorkeling here is fantastic. It goes the whole way around the island and um, with the natural channel on both sides um, for the marine life. We also have our own Paddy um, certified dive school here as well. So you can go there and, and do your proper diving um, while you're staying at Helen Gelly. And we also have things like an overwater gym. Uh, we have the Elena Spa here. It's really a very um, naturistic, like laid back vibe to Helen Gelly, almost a bo bohemian uh, chic vibe if you've got guests that are staying here. So this is what the map looks like. So um, you can see around the darker edges here, this is where the reef sits. So, and these are where the new water villas um, that are being built are going to go. So it's taken a while for us to introduce these because we have such a protected reef here and we needed to do it in an economical way um, so as to not uh, disturb any of the corals and things like that. So the water villas have been pre-built and they've all been shipped in and they're all there now, which is very exciting. So on arrival at Helen Gelly, all guests will be whisked off on their speedboat transfer. They'll all be met at the arrival jetty with a glass of fizz on arrival. So um, currently at Helen Gelly, our beach villas were our leading room type, but this will be now, now changing to the deluxe beach villas. So these have all been completely re renovated. They've all been completely reading out. So we'll have deluxe beach villas and then we'll have deluxe beach villas with pool. And we didn't previously have any beach villas with pool at Helen Gelly. So this is a new um, a new selling point for us that you can upgrade to the beach villas with pool as well. All directly on the beach with a lovely, beautiful stretch of beach in front of you. You can go straight out and do your snorkeling um, really easily accessible. So they've all got a bright, vibrant, fresh and feel inside. So real bohique, um seaside feel that you can see. All the bathrooms are the outdoor indoor bathrooms at Helen Gelly as well, with the showers in the middle and um, twin sinks on either side. So the two bedroom family villas, um, previously at Helen Gelly, our two bedroom villas, um, they weren't fully in connecting, uh, interconnecting. So now our rooms are fully interconnecting. So um, when you have people staying with children, you'll have your main bedroom at the front of the villa and the adults will have their own bathroom and you walk through to the back and there'll be a dressing area. And then you walk through there to get to the children's bedroom. And then the children also have their own private bedroom at the back. So these are fully contained units and we're going to have 19 of these in total. So as I said, really good if you've got people wanting to go away um, with children. So this is what the master bedroom will look like. These have all got pools as well. And um, you can see the first bathroom off to the side here um, for the adults there. Little sitting area at the back as well. You can just see this is what the um, first bathroom looks like off the side there. And then when you go through, this is the second bedroom with the twin bed. So while this is the children's bedroom, these are full size beds as well. So they will sleep older, older teenagers as well. They do and, and adults in the room. So we can take up to four adults in this room type. And then you have the open air bathrooms again through the back there.
Um, and this floor plan is just to give you an idea of what the rooms look like. So you can see you go, you have your pool here, your veranda here, you go in through uh, the doors to your main bedroom, smaller bathroom off to the side, dressing area, and then the children's bedroom at the back. But really good if children, if people are going away with children and then worried about them like during the night, they can't absolutely go anywhere unless they go through your room first. So completely self-contained. And then these are our new water villas. So this is obviously an artist impression, this image here, but this is what these will look like um, when we reopen. Um, really bright, really fresh inside again. Really lovely feel. They'll all have pools as well. So we have um, a number of sunrise water villas and a number of sunset water villas, and they'll be sold accordingly. So depending on what your guests want, um, you can decide and book them into that one. These are actual images, these of the rooms. This is what the decking area will look like on here as well. And again, they've got direct access to the house reef for their snorkeling as well. And um, the bathrooms are really beautiful as well. So that a lot of attention to detail has gone in because it is a natural island. They've really thought about things like the sinks. You can see they've been ma made in these lovely shell shapes. They've really, really thought about the design of the, the resort. And then these are our lagoon villas. So these are existing to Helen Gelly. These are what we already had previously. So these are half on island, half off the island. So basically it's the best of both worlds. If you've got a customer who's not sure if they want a beach villa or if they want a water villa, then this is the best option for them because when the tide's in or out, depending, you could be over water or you might be on the beach. So you can see the um, access from the back area here. So not, not a water jetty because they are on the beach and they also have the open air bathrooms as well. And these have all had a complete uh, refresh inside as well. So in terms of the all-inclusive plan, so um, breakfast, lunch and dinner is all served at The Spice, which is our main um, dining restaurant. We have lots of different frame nights every evening, um, live cooking stations, the Indian Ocean night every Friday night. Uh, we also include things like local snacks around the pool during the afternoon. Uh, we have our beach restaurant called Just Grill, which is our a la carte restaurant, which is also included um, in the plan based on length of stay. And then really exciting, we have another new restaurant called Raga Root opening, uh, which is our progressive Indian speciality restaurant. So that'll be an a la carte restaurant as well. And that will also be included in the plan. Um, so basically, the longer guests stay at Helen Gelly, the more they have included. So for every four nights here, an a la carte meal will be included within the plan, and that's a cumulative offer. So the longer they stay, the more they get, basically. So we obviously include all in limited drinks, so beer, wine, spirits, um, et cetera, soft drinks and everything like that. We also include the mini bar, which is replenished daily with beer and um, soft drinks and water as well. And then the complimentary gym is also included as well. And then we do lots of activities throughout the day. Um, so yoga, Pilates and things like that. They're always going on and guests are uh, more than welcome to take part within those as well. Um, and obviously we have got our new children's club as well, which is all, always included in the price. Um, and we have the marine biologist here as well. So this is really good. If you have got a couple going on holiday, who like to go snorkeling and diving and they have got children with them, they can now leave their children in the children's club um, while they go and do that. So that's a really good selling point for us. Um, and then as we, with all the obvious properties, we try to as much include as much as we can within the all-inclusive plan. We also include one complimentary sunset fishing trip for all guests and then a complimentary sunset um, cruise for all guests as well. And we also include all of the snorkeling equipment so nobody needs to worry about bringing that with them and all the non-motorised water sports are all included as well. So just to give you an idea as well about Helen Gelly. So Helen Gelly is a small island. It's very tropical. It's very green. It's very lush. Um, but we do have two pools here as well. So we have Helen's Pool, which is our main pool bar. Uh, this is where all the activities go on during the day. Um, it's got a real bohemian chic vibe here. Um, there's table tennis here, pools, ta tables, dartboards, things like that. There's plenty going on to keep people entertained. Um, but then we also have our adult only pool as well, which is located on the other side of the island. Um, that's where the sunrises are. So it's really nice to go for for get up early in the morning and go and watch the sunrise around there if you can but a great selling point as well if people do just want to chill out around the adult only pool um during the day and in terms of entertainment and things like that in the evening we always have a duo band on we do a movie night once a week and things like that so there's plenty going on to keep people entertained and obviously we have the elena spa here as well if people want to relax and enjoy their spa treatments
So all of the main restaurants are all being renovated. So this is what Spice, the main um, all day dining restaurant will look like um, when it's been completely done out. So it'll have a whole new complete look, fresh and feel as you can see here. Um, this is Raga Roots. This will be our new uh, Progressive Indian speciality restaurant as well. It's a really modern, really nice vibe. This is an aerial shot. So this is an aerial shot of the adult only pool actually at Helen Gelly, but it's a really great shot just to show you what the island looks like. So how green, how tropical it is. Um, you can see just where the reef sits just here. So really easy to swim out to the reef, as you can see. Um, these tables here, this is our beach grill restaurant as well, the a la carte restaurant, which is located on the beach. Um, we can also do private dining setups and things like that. If you guys are having a special occasion, we can organize that for them in resort. And this is another view of the adult only pool. So really nice, really private. As I said, this is where the stunning sunset, uh, sunrises are in the morning. And then Helen's pool and bar is on the opposite side of the island. That's where the sunsets are. So again, that's all being redone out as well. So that'll have an all new um, chic look and feel when that reopens. And this is the uh, main pool area. So a lot of changes going on at Helen Gelly. Everything's being completely renovated, as I said, um, but it will still feel really, um, you know, lush and tropical when it opens, but just with the odd blue spin on it, um, all modern and up to date. So we're really, really excited um, for the reopening of Helen Gelly. So thank you for listening. Sorry, my computer today is having issues with me turning myself back on. It doesn't want to see me clearly. Um, another amazing property. And we're so looking forward, Emma, to seeing the updates as well as time goes on with your there hotel. So, yeah, thank you. thank you. So we've got a couple of questions that have come in. Um, Mel, I know you've been answering something behind the scenes. Um, Melena's asked, hi, Melanie, is there a restriction for, hang on, you've just removed it for under 12 sustainable water villa because that's quite a common question that um that people ask yeah sorry i thought i actually replied to it not removed it um but generally many tour operators would not allow um for they'll often have it blocked in the system so uh, and occasionally if we do have someone we might look at that um but there would obviously be a waiver and it would really be on a case per case scenario okay super thank you very much sue have, yes. you finished, have you visited the turtle hatchery in Kogala? Have I what, sorry? Visited the turtle hatchery in Kogala. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I, I no, sorry. Well, I I've been, I have been. How have you? <laughs> yeah. All right. What can you say about it then? <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice experience. And it's not it's not expensive to go either. So it's a really nice thing to do if you are yeah. on holiday in Sri Lanka. It's a really nice experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they obviously look after all the turtles and rehabilitate them and then send them back out into the ocean. So, oh, so nice. well, thank you for that. I am wanting to go. I'm hoping to go to Sri Lanka in January, February. So there's a nice gift I would definitely there, visit because I love turtles. <laughs> Excellent. And Sue, um, we've got a question about airports. Obviously, for the Maldives, um, there's just the one, it's Mali Airport. And then depending on if you need a seaplane or you need um, the speedboats or you do the fixed wing aircraft, it's, it's ultimately the same airport. For your Sue, is, are you closest to Colombo? Yes. Yeah, okay. So Colombo for Sue for yeah. Sri Lanka. Darkness Cape. Super. Um, do we have any more questions that have come up? Let's have a look. Um, Serge has asked, I think this is for you, Emma, what is a Donny ride? Um, so it's a, tra a traditional Maldives boat. So it's a Donny shaped boat with a big bow on the end. And um, you can go up to the top as well. It has like a roof deck and you can sit up there and watch the sunset as well. So a nice experience. Wow, very unique. Love it. Thank you. Sorry to just add on that. Well, that's the boat that we would have going between uh, uh, the marina and where we are as well. So Maldives and some of the excursions will also be on a Donny boat. So uh, ah. yeah, very authentic, isn't it? Yeah, I love it when they do yeah. that. Yeah, that's exactly what it what it is or would have been like. And um, yeah. yeah, to experience it rather than going on a speedboat that's you can go on yeah. those anywhere in the world. You can't go on a Donny boat anywhere other than the Maldives. Yeah. <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay i don't think we have any more questions um so let me just check in here again we have got more questions um so lily's asked where would the speedboat to helen gelly drop you off and pick you up from 
Um, so it's from Marley Airport. So there's a departure point from Marley Airport and it takes you straight to the um, jetty at Helen Gelly. Super. <laughs> Thank you. Melanie, I know everybody asks about your, asks you about children, but what about adults with development disabilities like autism? Are they okay at the hotels? Um, yeah, there would be absolutely no reason why they shouldn't be. I mean, um, I, you know, I don't, if there's anything, I mean, we can uh, accept anyone to come and stay with us. So um, there will be, if there's anything century there, you have got music and you've got bright colours. So I don't know if that impacts anything, um, but absolutely we would be, you know, we have a great team and um, great service. So, you know, we would try and work with anyone Super, thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, let's have a look. Um, mm -hmm. Currency, you all use dollars to take dollars and swap yeah. into local currency when you're there, Sue, or is it a closed currency? Or I'm just checking because I am not sure. So let me just check. Um, I would imagine so, yes. You would take dollars. dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Because the rates are in dollars, so I'm presuming, yes, you would take dollars. Yeah, it's the same in the Maldives, isn't it? You yeah, yeah. Okay, super. Um, any excursions that you would recommend for the Maldives villas? You both had villas, didn't you? Yeah, that... I mean, you can... Uh... I mean, there's obviously uh, excursions that you can do kind of snorkeling, uh, whether it's going in a boat or just we have a house race as well. So that's on your doorstep. So um, and then obviously you can go further afield um, for excursions. You can do, um, you know, uh, deep sea fishing um, and so forth as well. So I don't know what they're looking for there, but um, we have an a range of activities. Yeah, it's always water as well with the Maldives because that's what you're surrounded by. So it's always, for me, when anybody's ever wanting to go to, say, Sri Lanka, this is land. You've got the history, everything in the la on the land. In the Maldives, it is water. It well, is the I will just say, you can actually go, we can do um, an excursion to Mali as well. So that is the cultural kind of, and the land um, element there because we're so close. And that is uh, at all. So thanks for that prompt. Super, thank you very much. Um, okay, um, Neil's asking, um, are these are these destinations LGBTQ friendly? Yeah, we are, and um, so as a brand is. Super, Emma, your yeah, hotel? yeah, Helen, yeah, Helen Gelly um, is as well, and we can also do renewal of vows for same sex couples as well. Okay, super, and Sue. I presume so. I haven't heard otherwise, but I would need to, to check. Okay, super. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we get to the part of the day where we check who's been listening. So as a reminder, everybody entered on the webinar today gets one prize draw point. If you answer the question correctly, you get 10 prize draw points. You have to be the fastest finger with the correct answer. And then I will do put you all into a spin to win. Those that have got 10 points will get 10 entries. And I will let you know tomorrow the winners for each prize. So, Sue, would you like to go first? Yes. Can question? you can you tell me where Gartens Cape is situated, please? The name of the place. I think you should have maybe said that somebody has to come on and pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> okay. So, Helen said. Amangama. Yeah, Ahangama. I, I pronounced it correct. They all look right. correct. I think there was one that wasn't, but they, they all look fairly correct. There might be a few little spelling mistakes, but yeah, most mostly everyone's got it right. I think Brilliant. somebody says something else, which I wasn't quite sure about, but yeah, I think everybody was listening on that. Perfect, because that was hard to even write that down from listening yeah. to it. Yeah, it's yeah. And it's quite, unknown. it's relatively unknown as well, that the place, it's quite a small little... Uh, Hamlet. Super, thank you very much. So Helen, you've got your 10 points. Mel. So, <laughs> therefore, staying at So Maldives, where would you be having breakfast? Where would you be having breakfast? Under the sunshine? Okay. So, Michelle said, 
citronella, but she's put a five in the middle of it. So the spelling's not quite correct. <laughs> There's I'm no sure. A on the end, it's citronelle club. There's no, lots of very know. close. So, but Michelle said that, but she put a five in the middle of it because I think she's put a, she's done it accidentally. Yeah, yeah, would you accept that or do you want to move on to the person that spelt it correctly? Um, well, oh. everyone gets an everyone gets uh, a choice in anyway, don't they? They all get uh, so I am going to accept it. Okay, so Michelle, because if, you know, yeah, it was you can see it. She's just put a five hope. in. She's gone fast. She was the she was the first person, so she's gone quick and <laughs> five's come in. Super, Emma. Right. Um, does anyone uh, remember the name of the new Indian restaurant at Helen Gelly? That's a hard one. Oh, 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 no. Where does he write on? <laughs> okay, so we have got Raga Root. Yeah, Raga Root, that is, that is correct. Perfect. That was Carol. Super um, nice. Yeah, that's really good. So I think normally with names, I'm useless with names. <laughs> no, I'm the same. Like you remember numbers, so like how many kilometers of beach or how many restaurants or something like that, but names of restaurants is always a bit tricky. So well done, everybody. Um, ladies, thank you. Your presentations have been super amazing, as always. Melanie, Sue, Emma, we love you. Um, thank guys, you. hotels are completely trade friendly, wanting to work with you. Um, so please, you know, send them the love back by making bookings for them. If you have any questions, I'll send a follow up with all of the contact details. Please let them know if there's anything that it can help you with, any extra questions or queries. And um, yeah, a big thank you to everybody for joining us. I know you're busy, but hopefully we've put a little bit of sunshine back into your day. So a big thank you. Have a great weekend and we will see you next week. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, ladies. Great presentation. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.